Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today for part 22 for the Canadian Grand Prix. There is rain expected for this weekend but before we get into it is your qualifying report. So we came into qualifying then with not much hope. We crossed the line for our first attempt and it wasn't a great lap at all. Very, very much off the pace. So our second run, we found eight tenths of a second, nearly putting it into the wall of champions on the exit. And it moves us up into P16 as we cross the line. But unfortunately, that wouldn't be enough. And we would drop down to P19 where we will start the race. For George Russell, he'll start today's race from pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Daniel Ricciardo, and Perez. Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Sonoda, and Mick Schumacher. Magnussen, Gasly, Nicholas Latifi, and Joe. Albert, Ocon. Sir Lewis Hamilton, they've taken a grid penalty. And Lance Stroll. Brown, and Robert Schwartzman. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? So as I said, rain has been predicted and the rain has come down. Canada, one of my favourite tracks on the calendar. Here we go then, we're still yet to get points this season. Can today be the day? As it's lights out and away we go then, it's George V. Lando. And it looks like George has got the better start. As now, we're going to try the dive bomb like we always do into the first corner. And we do that, execute that fairly well as we try now to go round the outside of both Williams but we go wide, nearly put a wheel on the grass and also Hamilton, normally great in the wet, has had a shocker we now try to send it on the Alpha, on the Alpha Tauri nearly running straight into the back there of Pierre Gasly as we send it to the inside just like Latifi has as well just up the road Latifi on the outside it looks like he's getting two places as well there as now we are trying our hardest to gain some more places as we did get Gasly only Gasly as now we're staring at the back of Kevin Magnussen as Gasly comes back at us as we send it on on the house we gain the place we go over the car bit of a dodgy move there so now this is latifi as we're on the back now of the canadian it's home grand prix we send it to the inside and we get past the williams there and we can move up as latifi fends off the house but latifi we had no pace on the wet tire and latifi is coming at the back of us and nearly drops it no surprise there if he did but he gets away with it as it's Alonso just at the road from us and as now Magnussen sends it to the inside of Latifi on the exit who can get the better exits and very wet the rain is meant to stop and it is meant to be drying up very very soon but when it does come no one knows as they're still side by side this is gaining some pressure and very taking pressure off of us and gaining us time as Latifi stays ahead but Magnussen tried to switch back but couldn't get the exit he really needed as he crossed the line and now Mick Schumacher's coming at his teammate down into the first corner and he gets the job done and now he finds himself on the outside of Latifi and he's done it round the outside Latifi's hanging on and now Latifi will have the inside line for the next chicane Round the outside, Mick Schumacher goes. And has he gained the position as we go through that kick? No, he hasn't. Latifi has held on at his home Grand Prix. As we skip on now to lap six, and it is time for the intermediate tyres. I felt, but some of the drivers didn't. The other drivers, as you can see here, and listen and just see through the gap. Other drivers are staying out as we put on the intermediate tyres. And now through the final corner, this is Ocon spinning it into the barrier copy and paste to what Kevin Magnussen did in qualifying in 2019 and that has brought out the safety car and the safety car has come out right in front of me as we exit the pit lane and now Lance Stroll our teammate for some reason has decided to slow down and it's three Aston Martins now queuing and I couldn't do anything here because we're in the safety car because you can't overtake so and I really don't know what Lance Stroll was doing there. Sir Lance a lot is had a bit of a brain dead moment. I have no idea what he was doing there. He just stopped in the middle of the track. But anyway, this is what happened to Ocon. He lights it up. 
exiting the final corner and straight on into the barrier and those under the safety car this could have completely screwed us over we pit one lap literally a couple of seconds too early and that could well have damaged our race even though these are not are on the wet tires it's still under safety car we're not going as quick and of course we had to sit there behind our teammate and the safety car for some random reason as well so we may not gain much time out of this but we shall see as we go through the final corner the debris of Ocon has been clear but the safety car is still out and we're still waiting to catch us the remaining drivers do pit for the intermediates and we have gained some places not too many yet but there is still cars out there on the wet tyres and these are the last cars on the wet tyres George from the lead as now we have we find ourselves somehow after the dodgy business with the safety car find ourselves in the the top six with only Perez ahead of us could we possibly do something we find ourselves in very very unknown territory here as the safety car comes in on lap 10 Charles Leclerc leads away Daniel Ricciardo finds himself second great from him Lando's dropped down he's been caught out along with George not sure why they were really staying out on the wet tyres but we are racing once again here in Canada and Charles Leclerc still leads he needs a win as now we run a little bit wide and George is going to try and cut the inside of us but we get the exit but George all over us that Mercedes is far superior to this Aston Martin there isn't really much point fighting him but we haven't been so this high up the grid in years and there may have been a little wet patch in the cockpit when I saw how far up the grid we were at this point in time as they're all battling behind and that is allowing us to make a small gap but we haven't got the pace now this is George up our inside Lando is just behind and he's going to be having a little look as well there but George is through and now Lando could do the same and we are being absolutely mugged here Lando's got us, so is the Haas there's Verstappen going round the outside we nearly hit Verstappen we try and force him the long way round we've lost two positions there this is now Max Verstappen trying to win his world championship back after losing it last season he's looking quite good this season as Max does exactly what I wanted to do send it to the inside so it was near enough free wide at one point going through that final chicane as Max gets all of them we somehow haven't has defended off everyone there everyone's side by side here there's Gazi going wheel to wheel with Magnussen around the outside they're side by side they're side by side further back as well between us like Latifi and the other halves of Mick Schumacher this is allowing us to get away and Mick Schumacher and Magnussen rather has stayed ahead of Gasly there as now Max Verstappen is on the back of her Saint Maximus to the Max as he goes to find follows us through the chicane and now he's gonna line us up for the hairpin we've lost so much time to Lando and here he comes down the outside and gets us into the hairpin I wanted to fight that but in the end there was really not much point me fighting it this is Lando Norris all on his own and he spun at the hairpin drops it all on his own it is starting to dry up so maybe he's just overheated those tyres we defend the Haas there and he is dropping like a stone get moving I don't know what he's doing here as he watches his very good results He's very good qualifying, starting the race P2 and it could not have gone any worse as now this is Gasly still battling Kevin Magnussen we are just staying just at arm's length with this battle as there's Yuki Tsunoda and his Alpine as well looking at a way through as as Gasly now tries to go round the outside of the Haas side by side and it's Mick Schumacher he stays ahead just there 
as now he goes deep, oh it's a mistake there from Pierre Gasly, and now Yuki Tsunoda all the way around the outside, gets the job done, Albon's in the mix as well there, around the outside of Gasly as well, but it looks like Gasly may have got the exit to just about stay ahead, but now there's Magnussen down the inside and he's got two of them, he's got the Alpine, can he get the Alfa Tauri on the exit as we pit on lap 17 because it is time for the dry tyres you would have not thought that on lap 1 but it's great can we keep this position get our first points of the season after how rock bottom Monaco was and I really really thought we messed up this season Coming to Aston Martin, we should have stayed at Alpine, but I was really annoyed with the right reliability of that car as we defend Magnussen into the final chicane. And now there goes Yuki Tsunoda sailing round the outside to the inside for turn one. As there's the other half of Mick Schumacher coming out further back, and this is Tsunoda then sending it down our inside. And unfortunately as we have a little wobble on the exit not going to be able to fight that one back and he's going to move up into P7 as we now fight Mick Schumacher with his teammate Magnussen waiting in the wings that if he was to pull off a move but it's a mistake from Mick Schumacher and Magnussen trying to go round the outside we've seen horses in the past hit each other, Gunter Steiner probably looking for his fingers right now as Mick Schumacher comes back at his teammate as we head towards final chicane into the final chicane and Magnussen gets past his teammate and now Magnussen is having a look at us on lap 24 into the first corner we force in the long way round and Mick Schumacher's coming at him again Mick Schumacher's not giving up and they're going wheel to wheel the two house boys they're both in the points so this is very valuable they're picking up three valuable points as it stands as the sun has come out now on lap 27 Mick Schumacher goes to my outside and sends it clear around the outside we try to hang on but the Haas is through and that's a couple more points very valuable for Haas as now Magnussen goes to the inside as we defend him off there and now can we keep this P9 this is very very good for us as into the final chicane we go we have a little wobble on the exit and now Magnussen has seen his chance to go down the inside into turn one we leave his space he's locked up we bang wheels and we send sends us bouncing over the grass and he gets the job done on us but we are not having that He's not forcing us off the track and getting away with it as we send it back down the inside into the next chicane but as we skip on to the final lap it's been a dominant race for this man Charles Leclerc who wins the Canadian Grand Prix Daniel Ricciardo take a bow what a result for him in P2 Sainz making it a double podium for Ferrari and we come home the P9 and our very first points. Ferrari, it hardly looked in doubt. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari.
So that's been your Canadian Grand Prix, what a race it was. Started wet to dry, they're always the best races. What a race for Charles Leclerc. Daniel Ricciardo, when Lando had an off day, unlike real life, there to pick up the pieces. So where Lando started, Ricciardo finishes in P2. It's a great result for us. We finally find ourselves with points on the board. Lance not having the best of weekends. Double two retirements in Ocon and also Albon. But we find ourselves in P14. We're finally up in the world in the championship. That win for Charles Leclerc has moved him within eight points of George Russell going into the British Grand Prix after a pretty poor race for George after starting on pole. It's a good weekend for Haas to get more points on the board. We now have four points on the board and level on points with Alfa Romeo who's really going to be our fight this season. But if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. But I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.